This is the Player 4 Podcast. Join us each week as we talk about video games, entertainment, and pop culture, and bring in guests from the Rooster Teeth community. Player 4 has entered the game. Alright, so, welcome. It is August, the first Wednesday of August, and this is the Player 4 Podcast live stream. Dun, 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 dun. I like, Matthew, how you were doing sort of a fanfare, but it also kind of sounds like Halo. Oh, that was, the, oh, that was part of the, uh, part of the uh, Player 4 theme. Oh, right! It does sort of sound like Halo, doesn't it? No, no, that was, actually I didn't have Halo on the mind. I just thought, thought that was it. That was still part... I thought I was just humming the, uh, the Player 4 theme. <laughs> right, you know, right. After, after Tristan says, Player 4 has entered the game. <laughs> well, our guest is enthusiastic. Let's move to yeah, the yep. Enthusiasm is good. Let's see. Oh, we're, wait- we're waiting. He's got to do some typey types before we do the intros. Typey type. Typey type. This 2017 live stream with. Tipsy guys, my elbow just popped. That's probably That's nice. not a good thing. All right. There we go. There. Now everything should be good. So, hello. I am Tristan, a.k.a. Shagrazier on the Rooster Teeth website. I am Alex, a.k.a. Chaos Block 21. I'm Malachi, a.k.a. Suki Hiwa. I'm Joseph, a.k.a. J. Dunlap, and our special guest, don't, 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 how. Matthew Anderson, a.k.a. Matthew17. How are you doing, everybody? We're doing, doing great. Good. Meh. Remix us. <laughs> we're sleeping. For a podcast. So okay, we're supposed to start these darn things at half past seven, eight, whatever time zone you're in. It's eight forty. What what happened, uh, Joseph? What, what what's the deal here? So we did our first ever five question interview as podcast formats, and it was myself and Matthew Anderson, our guest, and it went a little bit long because it was our first try at this, and it was. Matthew's That's first a, time being in an interview, so yeah, it did go a little, a little bit long. Had a little bit of some missteps, but I think I think that turned out well. What I think it I turned know? out great. Miss, we, we, we live and learn from our missteps. So my understanding then, Joseph, is that in, in its prior incarnation, five question interviews took place entirely via text messaging client. This was the first time you did it via voice. Yes, it had always been via Skype chat. I see. So, for the for the first time ever, you were able to hear the other person responding to your questions, and you would know when they were embarrassed by something you asked. Yeah, usually if they give the embarrassed emoji. See, I wouldn't do that. I'd hide my embarrassment. I'd play it. I'd play it cool. Well, the main the, the main thing about when you have text, I said Bane, but when you have text interviews, is oh, you can ask a question and you can just sit there for ten minutes and just let them type out a single paragraph, and they just have time to collect their thoughts. However, in an audio format, you're sort of coming up with your answer on the fly, which for many of us, that's not a skill that we have yet. We have to sort right. of build that skill. So Matthew and I were filling it out together, uh, no homo, and just figuring it out. 110% homo. It's okay, guys. We all love each other here. Close enough to Austin. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remind me that it's RTX is a year away again. I too late. I already I reminded you that RTX is a year away. Actually, it's still it's still a little bit over a year away since. It's... Well, it's not my fault that they pushed it back a month and then some. So well, that makes it better for travel travel oh, costs. Yeah. So so oh, you guys are like a nightmare for Christmas the day after you're already counting the days to the next one. Yes. <laughs> you should be too, Malachi. You're going. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. I'm supposed to go this time, but what, what about nightmare for Christmas? I got a shiny new computer. It it it, it killed me. Um, I believe in Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, after Christmas happened, then Jack Skellington started counting the days again till Christmas. Oh, I thought it was the old town that did that. Yeah, each, no, that was each, for each, Halloween. Each, oh, no, till Halloween. Uh, each yeah, Halloween. town okay. had a little countdown mirror. clock in the center of town to its own holiday. <laughs> did it? I thought that... Yeah, but the mayor then was driving around, uh, and he would, like... Oh, yes. ...have the days left. Only 353 days till Christmas. Next Halloween! That wasn't a horrible Jack. No, that was the mayor. Uh, that was the mayor. 
Oh, that was, that was an amazing mayor. <laughs> 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 I knew that. All right, so so <laughs> what are we going to be talking about today, guys? Well, um, I saw Spider-Man. Nice. I know two of us saw Dunkirk. Nope. I did not. What about The Hundred Worlds? That's all right. Well, uh, nah, no. <laughs> uh, Valerain and The Hundred Worlds. We should talk about that for the third week in a row. Still <laughs> uh, haven't seen that, honestly. I haven't seen a lot of movies lately. Talk that one to death. So we really didn't need to. <laughs> okay, so who hasn't seen Spider-Man: Homecoming? Uh, hey, which is odd because it's a Marvel movie and that's pretty much mandatory. But yeah, I still haven't seen it. Okay, so revoked. what if we do a spoiler-free review of that? Well, he joins the Avengers. Well, a spoiler-free review, it is. as in Alex and Malachi and I have seen it. Mm-hmm. So we could do a spoiler-free review today. Uh, yeah, sure. See, I'm just not... Sh- see, here's my thoughts on spoiler-free reviews, is that there's not a whole ton of content on them because you have to stay away from pretty much everything. So you stay away from the story itself, and you talk more about the experience having watched it. And you also could it- say it's place, like it's setting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The experience is great. I love the Spider-Man they have. The end. I mean, you're not wrong. That is a great spoiler-free review. <laughs> I actually seen a, a video either on YouTube where someone posted of uh, the kid that, or the guy that was doing Spider-Man, and apparently he went out of his way to do a lot of the acrobatics himself, and he practiced them often. Yeah, that was one of the reasons he got the role, was he had, I think, YouTube videos of, him, of himself doing flips and stuff. Oh, yeah. I did see those. Uh, I thought it was impressive, the amount of training he put himself through to get ready for the role. And I know that's you know, every actor goes through some and some more than others, but I, I, I still thought it was cool. Well, you can really watch sh- him do that. You can show, show a good actor in a certain movie, depending on how much passion they have for the actual character. Like uh, Ryan, Red- Ryan, uh, Ryan Reynolds loved Deadpool. <laughs> And that was, you know, he had a lot of fun, did that role real well, I, I felt. And to Wolverine, uh, Hugh Jackman, like, put tons of time in just, like, making his body ripped because he wanted to look like a beast. And but know, Beast is from X-Men. Yeah, no, beast, beast is blue. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean by Beast. It <laughs> rhymes with Wolverine. <laughs> So, you know, it's cool when actors really t- have a lot of passion for their roles. Yes, agreed. And he was ripped. I mean, he wasn't exactly, you know, team team uh, Jacob, but, you know, still, he was ripped. <laughs> Don't even bring that up. Uh, <laughs> that, any reference to that movie other than it sucks needs to be, like, thrown out. It, I was being ironic. I think it would be ironic if you were made of iron. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Another you, small Tristan. rock. So, um, <laughs> what do we want to say about the movie then? Well, I was going to say, you know, the experience of watching it, I mean, Alex hit it on the head, but if we were to expound, a lot of the supporting characters were very enjoyable. The villain had I, a clear motivation, I and like he was enjoyable. Villain. Yeah, he, 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 he didn't even really want to be a villain, which I really enjoyed. And then, let's see, the love interest storyline was believable. It wasn't overdone. Uh, let's see, what else? Iron Man, as I said last last episode, I really enjoyed who they cast as Iron Man for this film. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great, great character choice. Great it, laugh. it was a great character choice. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, you know, I can, I can, I'm the editor, I can put in a laugh track if I need to. And then that, that sound you just made, I'm gonna put a frog, wait, I don't do the video, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? Uh, the the dynamic with Iron Man was enjoyable. A didgeridoo, wah, wah, wah. Just the uh, dynamic that Spider Man had, pretty much with anyone. Yeah, was a like off against was always good. Like so, like the last two have been. They they've had every now. Those and don't and exist then. anymore. I know, but the the two that they the last two series they every now and then they would say something like witty and all that. But this they just kill it out of the park. With, with this movie. Like, it's the Spider-Man I remember, as I keep saying, from the cartoons. It's called Knock It Out of the Park. No, they killed it. Like, they destroyed <laughs> it. Like, the ball isn't even there anymore. The, it's disintegrated. Yeah, the bat exploded. The ball's leather skin came off. Whoa. Was... Whoa. The 
balls. The balls. Balls. I mean, balls. Skin. <laughs> oh. But anyways, I did like the placement of it. It wasn't a. It wasn't a um, origin story, and it was placed just after. It was placed a little while after Civil War. Amen. I like the origin story that was hinted at. Go ahead, Matthew. Oh, I'll say amen to the ah. no origin story. <laughs> well, well like there, they... there still is, but I guess it's assumed. Well, well I assume, yeah, I assume they, it's assumed. they mention it, but they don't. But it's not shown. Yeah, yeah. The origin story is the background of the movie, which is he got these powers. He made a crappy little suit with goggles. People captured him on YouTube. That's who was that was his origin story, and it was it was actually kind of cool how they presented it. Oh yeah, I'll just go and buy up like what I've heard from other people that there's no. Uncle Ben being shot again. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know that Uncle Ben exists. Hmm. And how will he know about great responsibility? Well, he's so... Well, that's the funny thing. That's what Iron Man is there for. (laughs) Well, he already sort of said something along those lines to Iron Man, and it's in the trailers where he says it. He says something like, when you have the power to do these things, and then bad things happen, and you don't do them, do you don't don't try to stop them, and the bad things happen because of you. And and that's why he is driven to be Spider Man in the first place. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean Iron Iron Man teaching responsibility to Peter Parker. No, no, no this is what Peter Parker <laughs> says to Iron Man when he says I, I know, I know. I'm just laughing at the at the suggestion that that's what Iron Man is there for. <laughs> you know, I actually wouldn't I could believe that. that idea. Y- y- you know, I, could, I could believe that. You know. No. He's changed over like yeah. in the past like eight years. Exactly what Matthew was just said. Tristan, we've even had conversations about this where you were on on my side on this topic, which yes. was that Iron Man has changed. And well. it's actually a plot thread sort of it's not even hinted at, it's just not a huge plot thread. The Iron Man is trying to make Spider Man better than Iron Man ever was. Mm-hmm. He wants him to achieve what Iron Man was never able to achieve because he didn't go at it the right way. Right. I can see that. I and just now he has someone who can give him a hug. I just yeah. think that Iron Man is broken at this moment. No, no, we're not having a moment. I'm opening the door. <laughs> I know um, that because that's in the trailer. Yep. I mean, we'll you know, we'll see in the next um, Avengers how he's doing now <laughs> at this point, I guess. I guess that's about it for the spoiler three free four, spoiler the the three spoiler review. <laughs> The three spoiler? I always spoil well, three I said, things. I said spoiler three instead of spoiler three, so I guess that means I'm obliged to give three spoilers. <laughs> You're obliged uh, to give three spoilers. Okay. Um, the spoiler spoiler three three happens, happens, okay, gotcha. Spoiler Spider-Man three Homecoming hug. happens in New York. Oh, uh, I was gonna see it. Thanks a lot, oh. Alex. Spider-Man Homecoming, the lead character is Spider-Man. What? What? I thought Spider-Man it was Homecoming. <laughs> thought that Homecoming was going to be a new superhero. Be really awkward. Right? Spider-Man v. Homecoming? Spider-Man What's the v. third one? Homecoming. And the third one is Spider-Man at, is... Um, I guess the spoiler is Uncle Ben doesn't die. Is with his Aunt May. Is Aunt May oh. still hot, like from the previous the Yes, War totally movie? hot. Yeah, she's still hot. I actually like Aunt May because... She she's cares hot. about him. She No, that's not why I like her. She, she cares so deeply about her nephew... And while she's not trying to do the whole cool aunt thing, you can all, you can tell that she doesn't want to stifle him. She's like, oh, yeah, I used to sneak out of the house when I was younger. Or half one at the party, I used to party all the time. But she also cares about his safety. Huh. Care about safety. It's, it's sort of like you have the cool aunt idea, but she's also having to be the grown-up and raise him. She's just not stifling him. And she, and she wants him to have a good childhood and, and have a good time. By the way, bonus spoiler, Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. What? It's crazy. That was, that was our I response. Thought, I thought his what? name was Peter Parker. Peter Parker? You guys, Peter Barker. You guys are Peter a bunch Barker. of perverts, too. <laughs> his name was Bob Barker. Why are we a bunch of perverts? Yeah, you're, wait, like, I you're, you're watching a boy swing around in a skin-tight suit. It's terrible. And he's shooting out white liquid? Uh, if you recall, I believe... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> So I'm going to bed. There was, there was one <laughs> question from uh, no, from Twitter games that uh, that was about Let's Spider-Man. Stop. That was in that. Now we're talking about veins. What? Okay, so the the, the spoiler-free review is done because we got our three spoilers from Alex. Bo- plus one bonus. A bonus mm-hmm. spoiler? Yeah, that was the bonus. Spo- I, I already said four. I said four. I'll, I'll give a bonus one. spoiler. It's in Queens. Oh yeah, he's from Queens. Yeah, and he vlogs. I'm from Hell's Kitchen. So, next. Oh, so I guess he's not 
he's not like a reporter because I don't know. Well, he's a teenager, but I, I, I you know, just not a newspaper a, reporter because it is in, it that's is outdated apparently. Well, it's, it, I guess you're not wrong. I would be interested to see whether he becomes does a reporter it, first off does, and whether it's a physical newspaper. So I guess well, you that, have Jameson, the, though. Yeah. I was going to ask if the Daily Bugle still exists and if Jameson still exists. Even if it that isn't, would be fascinating. Is, even if he isn't J.K. Simmons. <laughs> With the meme. <laughs> the laughing meme. You're serious? That was no, actually that was really on, good. No, that was on the fly. It's more like the, your serious part that I got. No, it wasn't on the fly. It was on Spider-Man. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's next, guys? Uh, we did something fun this week. I guess I mentioned Dunkirk, but what are you going to say? I was just You're asking saying? if we did anything fun. Talk about Dunkirk, Dunkirk with us. All right. Uh, yeah, Alex, Matt you were the only one who saw it. it. Oh, yeah. Well, like, you, you saw it in IMAX, I believe. Yeah, uh, I did. And I just saw it regular because I don't watch anything in IMAX. Um, so what was your take on it? That was pretty good. Very, very loud, but in all the right ways. Yeah, it's very loud, but there's not a whole lot of dialogue to it. Um, or plot. It, it, well, the, the the plot was escaping freaking oh. Dunkirk. Oh, yeah. That was the plot. <laughs> it's a no, war movie. As a, oh, yeah. As, a, as far as, like, developed characters that they go, at least. But, uh, I, yeah. I didn't mind that. And expected most, I don't know if you've ever, like, watched old World War II movies that used to play on, like, AMC and the... 90s and early thousands, but they don't develop a lot of characters. Maybe one. Everybody else are the soldiers fighting for their lives. That was the appeal was to see the 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 battle, the strategies, and then see who wins at the end. There isn't really a plot in war. War doesn't have a beginning, middle, and end. There's just fighting. Oh yeah, yeah. I just thought about it, so like a have a basic story structure. But I do. Even that, no, could... Go ahead. But even then, it was kind of an unorthodox story structure anyway, given that we see especially three different perspectives, and they're kind of intercut with a, a different time. Like, they each kind of take place over the course of a different time period. Yeah. Um, and it, you only f- yeah. find that out until toward the end of the film, where you see kind of the s- same scenes kind of play out again, but from a different, like, perspective. Yeah, they focus, they, they do still tend to focus on several different characters, each of them having a certain viewpoint, as he said. Um, it, it, it is an interesting story structure that they had where, oh, yeah. Really oh. A, it's not really a spoiler, but they take, like, each, um, perspective takes place over a different, like, they all end up converging, but they all take place at different lengths of time. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, also, like, oh, go ahead. Well, I was going to say that you know that uh, you should probably take a movie seriously when a veteran from that war watched it and gave his praise because oh, it really? felt like he was actually there again. Yeah, yeah there's a 97 year old also. veteran. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. There was a big, it was like say that? all over social media <laughs> that a veteran was, was, was praising it. Well, I guess when you say it like that, like, I'm feeling like he was there again. I thought that was, like, the way you phrased it. I figured that would, would not, that would, something he wouldn't want to do, since that was the yeah. whole, whole point. But I think, yeah, I think it, it, he was more meaning that. Oh, yeah, of course. Nolan did it justice. This is how it was. People now can see, kind of get an idea of how, uh, how. Oh, yeah, of course. Like. Oh. Yeah, they were scared that they weren't going to make it home. Oh, yeah, of course. I, I'm kind of a history buff as well. I've already kind of studied a lot of World War II history as well, and I was already familiar with the British retreat from France early in the war. And just uh, it was kind of just really cool to see that kind of scene played out again in such a big scale such as this, especially with regards to like production design. And this is one of the cases where I, I really want to get it on Blu-ray just so I can see the behind the scenes documentaries, like seeing all the camera work and the sets, extras, and like se- seeing especially the effects involving like, like the uh, ships and planes and so take it, taking, uh, like just praising the fact that it wasn't all mostly 
green screen and like a f- fake CG planes flying around and a green screen destroyer mm-hmm. singing. Oh, mm-hmm. there, there's probably some, some of that too, but mm-hmm. it wasn't as apparent. And uh, I was just, it was just looked really great, this cool to see, and I kind of, I'm very intrigued to see how they made made it. Mm-hmm. I agree. We're getting yeah, to the a, point where you're probably going to barely be able to tell if it was CG or not. Oh yeah. Well, in this case, I know it wasn't really CG anyway because they use they use kind of vintage planes, and you could tell that they used like a, a full full like recreation of ships, which they then sunk with extras on board. And uh, yeah, I thought it just seemed really impressive to see that brought up and like displayed in that such large scale. And, so go uh, see Dunkirk. Yes, certainly. Um, it's I a great to... experience of a mo- movie just from, from beginning to end. And uh, I think, yes, I definitely call it just an experience. If you're, I guess if you're wanting it like a moving story involving fleshed out characters, it's not really the point, but even then it's still a really good spectacle, especially uh, for someone that, like me, that kind of pays attention to a lot, a lot of those kind of details involving like uh, the period. As long as it's not Michael Bay. Believe it or not, I actually kind of used him as like a sort of like a ex- another example of that because part of Pearl Harbor was actually filmed here in Corpus Christi. Like I remember at the time, they were using the USS Lexington as a uh, as a film location where they uh, brought in like a see uh, be, see I forgot what, they were using it for several scenes like carrier scenes, both for the Japanese and the and the American planes as well and. The, I remember seeing all the fl- planes flying around while they were filming, and like Ben Affleck was there, and and also just like I didn't even, also Bay was there, of course. You know, there's a funny video of him just <laughs> coming down the walkway to the to the uh, down to the down the Lexi- Lexington walkway, and you see him just in the passenger seat of a golf cart, and he has his leg propped up on the dashboard of the golf cart, and he has his shirt open. With his sunglasses, so ridiculous in hindsight, and yet, yep, that's her bay. But yeah, just that was just I just remembered see, having like seeing experience, having experience of seeing like a similar kind of like World War Two movie being made, and just like believe it or not, I actually kind of appreciated some of the production that went on in Pearl Harbor. You know, even though it was not exactly historically accurate and had dumb love story triangle, essentially. Dumb studio attempt to make another Titanic, and was it kind of fell on his face? But hey, I appreciated some of it. Sorry for the tangent. No, that's fine. I, Speaking I of similar it. topics, go ahead, Tristan. I'm um, yeah, no, I, I like I was uh, stating earlier. I would like to see Dunkirk. I've heard a lot of good things about it, and I'm I'm just hopeful that it it doesn't go the Pearl Harbor route. It does oh, not me, go the Pearl Harbor route. <laughs> Does oh. not. I have like. What do you mean by that exactly? Turn into just a big with no understanding of the events that took place that they're attempting to show. Oh, but, oh, it, it doesn't. I guess it doesn't. It doesn't fall into that trap, and it doesn't end up like that anyway. It's a very kind of simple, kind of streamlined like sto- yeah. story, and you know, like I said, there's no like dumb like like love story put in. Or some 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 other kind of like plot that kind of takes away from what the uh, main story should be about. Yeah, I have a. I went to go see it with my friend Stephen, and he's a big war movie, World War Two kind of stuff. And he he even brought it up. He's like, that was the way it should be, not like Pearl Harbor. Oh yes. Let's see. Oh, I was gonna say earlier they flew during the filming of Pearl Harbor. They they flew B twenty five. Mitchell bombers off of the deck of the Lexington, as well as some like zero replicas that, that they used for like some fo- for some fo- footage shot footage shots, and also they brought in a lot of Japanese extras for like the uh, Japanese carrier scenes, including you know the great Mako. Are, are we talking about Pearl Harbor? Yeah. Okay, because I <laughs> you're going the Japanese had no involvement in Dunkirk. No, I was talking about Pearl Harbor, and just recalling about. Like what planes they were using at the time for the filming. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so speaking of planes and lost. explosions and and you know okay movies, there's going to be a sequel to um, Top Gun. Yeah, I heard about that. Doesn't matter yeah. unless they have a uh, a volleyball montage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
it's not Top Gun unless it's got a volleyball yeah. montage. No, volley mo- no volleyball montage, I'm out. Uh, what's it called? All right, looking up, looking that up too. Electric what's what Gun? called? The sequel to Top Gun. Probably just Top Gun Two. Top yeah, Gun Two. That would be harder. boring. During the it, promotional tour, of it the could mommy. be called Top, Top Gun, Gun Two: Airplane Boogaloo. Boogaloo. Danger Zone. Top Gun Let's Two: see. Airplane Boogaloo. Oh yeah, come on. How is it going to be Top Gun without Danger Zone? It's just gonna have to have Danger, Danger Zone. Zone. It's just oh, of course. They have don't, don't bring it. It's a thing. It's going to have oh, Archer no. in it. Let's see. Title is likely to be, uh, let's see, Top Gun, subtitle, Maverick. That's it? I, I still a, want... I, he revealed that the title will be, let's see, that. And he mentioned it's this on the story. promotional it's tour for The Mummy. Don't bring it. Let's see. Though. Cruz further stated that Aviators are back. The need for speed. We're going to have big, fast machines. It's going to be a competition film like the first one, but a progression for Maverick. I hope that description's good. And they use, like, like real practical planes flying around and not have it be a video game. I would rather they, <laughs> I would rather they call it... For some scenes, they could, be, they could use CG, of course, but it, it kind of feels a lot more real when there's... If you see an actual plane fly around for the scene. Top Gun 2, gun harder. <laughs> yeah. It could be yeah, top, top harder, harder, and the next one could be two gun, two furious. Top two gun, gun two, two gun hardest. hardest. Three gun, three furious. Don't rule that out. Guys, speaking of sequel names, I was at the store today, and I saw the case for the Blu-ray or DVD, I'm not sure which, of the new Fast and the Furious movie, mm-hmm. The Fate of the Furious. Yeah, The Fate of and the Furious. It has the above, eight and the fate. Yeah, above the tit- <laughs> title The Fate of the Furious, it has F8. And I look at it and my brain just explodes. <laughs> they called it Fate because it's the eighth movie. Yeah, that's why the tenth movie is going to be Fast 10, Your Seatbelts. No, Furious. No! Like, <laughs> fasten your seatbelts. No, more like the fine furious guys. I still fine furious. <laughs> nine. Don't have to work in nine. Why wasn't oh, the, the fourth one called Alt F four? No, they just called it. Oh, they just call it Fast and Furious. No. Yeah, yeah they, they took off the and just put Fast and Furious. Yeah, they did. I just thought I'd bring that up. I didn't get. What about, it. I didn't what get why it was fate. <laughs> well, <laughs> really? You Tristan already said. The furious and I got it. Tristan already said it's going to be Fast Ten Your Seatbelts. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Oh, I didn't hear it because I disconnected. Ah, well, you should stop doing that. Yeah, it's what he typed in the in the Discord server just now. Tenth Fast and the Furious movie, Fast Ten Your Seatbelts. Yeah, I, I stole that joke. It was I found it online. It was amazing. No, no, take credit for it. I cannot. I refuse. So do that. You deserve it. <laughs> it's you really deserve good. It. <laughs> it's really good. All right. Anything else for this week's live stream? Watch uh, our other live streams where we live stream gaming and yell at yes, the screen. Yes, thanks for bringing that up. I was going to talk about that. Uh, Malachi and Tristan, you guys got another live stream lined up for this week? Probably uh, tonight. <laughs> maybe. We were possibly going to attempt also switching between us, but I have to set it up to see the quality of my video before I actually stream. If I uh, if I start playing single-player games again, I'm going to stream those up just because. All right. Um, Matthew, and you get to see... should be coming up soon. Do what? <laughs> One sixteen should be posted at some point. Yeah, uh, my bad. Well, I know I should have checked it too. I'm just too used to you telling me, so I got laid back. The past two weeks, I've actually, I've I've actually been up on getting the editing done on the audio. It's just that I forgot to tell Alex that I did it. So let's just let's share blame. I should have checked, um, even though you didn't tell me, and you should have told me. (laughs) So we're equal. I had company. My sister was visiting from like Friday until Monday night. So yeah. Um, but I was going to ask Matthew whether he got to see the, uh, nine minute video we uploaded last week that was, um, a compilation, a best of from a stream that Tristan and Malachi did last week. Not yet. It's a kind of, oh God. It, very busy lately. But yes. It was the best deaths from that, uh, live stream. <laughs> it's basically a death compilation. I wanted yeah. to say, Joseph, you're a jerk. What did I, what, what? Cause you did all our death. You're a jerk for like, showing all the time. <laughs> this is like, really? I love that I would cut like two minutes and then another three minutes and another three minutes. And in the video, what you get is, dang it. Ah, 
Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now, now people know oh, what, I, what I listen to every now and then whenever I hang around after we're done and they're playing games. If that's gets... what I hear, except more cursing. <laughs> Well, when I was editing it, Gina was like, it's like I'm hearing Hiccup and Napoleon Dynamite cursing. What? <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're Napoleon Dynamite now, Malachi. Wow. Go get I said that Eddie was leaving the left. room, and now I'm in trouble. Now you're in trouble. Should have waited until she had left the room. It's funnier this way. Uh-huh. I am curious, though, for those listening, and Matthew, who's also listening, but he's not a listen. He's He's okay, um... For all those listening, He's a bad let, listener. Me, let me know what you think of that little nine-minute best of, uh, what did I call it, compilation or whatever, uh, cut together. Because I am curious whether, first off, whether it is an enhancing of the experience of watching the live stream archives, whether it uh, adds anything to the experience, whether it's even worth the trouble. All right, we'll do. Also, let me know if you want the Southern Bells of P4 to come back. The what? Southern bells of what? The Southern Bells. Even episode 115. Have people not watched episode 115 yet? I watched it. I think I did. You have no idea what a Texan sounds like. Oh, I oh yeah, that one. What a Texan sounds like. Yes, he, yeah. he, made us all turn, he made us all look like Southern Bells. I get it now. Exactly. I even tried to somewhat match our hair color. So, Alex, you before we close out the live stream, because we still have a little bit of time, so all of us, uh, except Matthew, who is going to get cut up soon because we got him into the Discord, have seen all four parts of the new Minecraft Let's Play uh, P4 Craft videos that are going to be coming out yes. from that one recording session. And there's going to be another few coming out in the next few months from another recording session. And I remember you said that the fourth part of the four-parter was your favorite. And then what I'm referring to is the Welcome Village series. And yes. part one has already come out. Part two, by the time this is public, has already come out. Uh, those who are watching this live, it comes out this Friday. What did you like about part four more than the other parts? Because I had a few things I thought was it, and I was curious. Um, there's one point, I believe, where... Um, I, can't, I think it's part four. Is, isn't it part four one where at one point you're dancing around, or is that two... They all blend together. <laughs> I think it is part four where you and I are dancing and it has the can can. Yeah. Uh but there is another part that Malachi does um that I didn't remember until now or, or until I watched it and I couldn't keep it together. I had to watch that several times. Is that um, the one where he's running across the bridge throwing throwing yes. stuff? Yeah. Oh my gosh. When we were recording that I lost it for a good two minutes. I know that that Malachi probably does not remember. I remember. <laughs> You'll just Malachi have to watch our videos. Uh, and then the, the the whole Batman thing too. I think that that ended up uh, coming to a head because I was throwing uh, in Batman music the whole time. Whenever you were doing the voice, what I thought yeah. you might have been referring to was the fact that twice in that same video, the part four that's coming out in a few weeks, Tristan spoke in a different language, once German, the other time Japanese. And I actually, since you said the Southern Bells thing, it made me think of it. I put his face first on a later hosen outfit, and then secondly, I put his face on samurai armor, and I threw threw it up on the screen when he spoke in either language. I, I think I remember that. I feel like I remember the later hosen more than the samurai. I might have missed that, so I might have to go back and watch it again. But I think I remember the later hosen. And it was it was sort of like I was editing the audio and I heard him speak in German. I was like, oh well, I'll I'll bring that up. I'll make sure people hear that. And then just like ten minutes later, he said something in Japanese. I was like, it's Tristan. And I realized at that point that was that was something I could turn into a gag where Tristan just keeps speaking in other languages, and that's the photoshopping that I did through. So um, Tristan, that means you need to start learning more languages. I've got a few others that I can drop phrases from. Uh, so yeah. But- I think I think you did a good job overall with the um uh what you call it the editing basically putting words or pictures up on the screen like um, Alex fill in my hole yeah like like I think you did a good job like it's not uh overkill it, it's only every now and then but it's enough that it wants like focused you're like oh I wonder when the next one's coming I think this coming episode 
is the one where Tristan pretends he stole my boat. And as a result, my kids went around quoting that particular part over and over and over the thing that I said to Tristan in response, which I'm thinking might be a t-shirt. So watch out for that episode. Uh, so what we're talking about, part one of this group of P4 Craft episodes, which is the Welcome Village, came out two weeks ago. And part two is this Friday. If you're watching the archive of this video, then it was last Friday. And then in about a month, you'll get part four. And I, I just, I like that, first off, our stream quality was much higher overall. Uh, not stream, our video capture quality. And then also... I, I was able to do a lot better editing this time around than I've ever been able to do in the past. I've been trying new things without overdoing it, as Alex said. So check those out on our channel. And also, one last thing before we say goodnight. I am going to come out and announce now what community project I've become a, a part of recently. Oh, dun, dun, I mean... I like that you started off with dun dun dun, and then you were like, "No, no, drum drum roll, drum roll." <laughs> so I have been brought on as primarily a video editor, which I have yet to edit a video, but we're talking about getting something in the works. Um, mostly because then I can be on staff as a composer, but in the next few weeks I'll also be a paginator for because they need my help getting out the uh, monthly magazine, Big Bites. So, Yay. yeah, in the, in the coming weeks, I'll be helping them with pagination for the magazine because they're a little bit shorthanded. And I've already cleared that I'm going to use InDesign at the university where I teach. And then also they're talking about doing a new Let's Play series that I'll be helping them with. And there is a live action series that we are working on. I can't tell you anything about. We did already have a meeting about it, and I will be primarily the composer for that project. Like the script's already been written. They've got a... Uh, Kickstarter they're working on, and then I'm going to be writing music for that. And that is exciting because, guys, it has been years, years and years and years, me trying to get some sort of project where I can be the composer of a film score of some kind. And this is a series that I'll be writing for, which is actually an even better experience because I can develop as it progresses. So watch, watch out for Big Bite projects in the future that I'll be helping out with. And, I mean, you know, P4 sort of has a working relationship with Big Bite in a way. We did have them on our podcast when they first started out. So that was uh, Retrograder and Joe. So exciting stuff. Woo! 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 Yay, Joe! Yeah. Thanks for the forced enthusiasm. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I think everyone just died. Yep, I'm all by myself. Good night, Joseph. Guys? Okay, so you're not dead. Died. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Matthew. Oh, no. No problem. Thank you. Thanks again for having me on, guys. Always yes, it's always a pleasure to have you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for putting up with our shenanigans. Good night, Malachi. Annie. Yeah. Good night, guys. Good night. Later, Tristan. Say it. Say my name. Say my name. Okay. Bye. I Tristan refused. I Tristan. said the hashtag goodbye. We, we didn't hear you. Therefore, it's not our fault. I didn't hear you. I already said goodbye. Sorry. Yep. I, went. I, I, uh, I was waiting for you to say because I'd already said hashtag goodbye. Well, nobody else said it. That's why we were, we were waiting. That's why I said. Oh, my God. At the stream. Fight, 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 fight. Yes. Oh, yes. another great moment from the Minecraft was uh, Tristan and I were saying something and Malachi goes, that's like 6,013% homo. Oh, yeah. I, I remember that. <laughs> one, too. That was good. <laughs>